Hello again guys, welcome back to another informative video. So in this video what I am basically going to be doing is I am basically going to move these, sorry about the wind, the wind is very heavy, sorry about the, the, the noise from the vehicle passing. So we are going to move these bags and put them in a cooler section because I think that the sun gets too hot on them. And one of the things with composting is that you don't want to put, leave your, put your compost bin or your bags or whatever container you are composting in. You don't want to put it, put, leave them in the sun because the sun can basically dry out the, 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 the composting materials and cause some, not all the, the, the microorganisms, some of them, especially those on the top, will cause those those microorganisms on the top part of the compost to, to die and you, you, you are not going to get that consistency that you need in the pile so I'm just going to basically move them right move them and put them in a, a cooler area so that is what I'm going to do now this one is kinda heavy man <clears throat> Right. Alright guys, so what happened is um let me show you these right here these they they're not really they're not really getting too much sun because as you can see it have this tarp right here that kinda you know helps to keep them shaded as you can see every now and then it, it it flops and create this level of shade right so and when i check them inside they were more uh what i would say they were more they had more moisture let us take a look at one it is moist it has it has moisture right so i'm going to leave that one this one is the same story right the carbon nitrogen ratio in the the R spoop compost pile is 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 imbalanced. There is much more carbon than nitrogen. So the microorganisms they don't have enough nitrogen to help with energy to break down the, the carbon material, the plant material that is there. So hence I am going to normally you could use leaves, grass, um, kitchen peelings and so on, but I don't have any, any of that. So essentially this is a source of a source of nitrogen and it is organic so I'm going to it is ju just as though you would, you would had plant matter which is organic right I'm going to have this chicken manure which is organic that is going to supply nitrogen so let us begin the process I'm going to add half bucket of, 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 uh, of chicken manure to each bag right hopefully it will it will last I'm not sure I didn't do any calculations right um, but we are, what we are going to do is we are, we are going to leave about we are going to leave about two bags two bags as as control to basically see the difference because as, as an experiment you need to have a control right so we are going to leave two bags untreated two bags that 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 that, that doesn't contain the the, the 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 chicken manure right so let us start putting in the chicken manure in the bags we're going to So guys, my tripod just fell. So as you can see, we are just going to basically, all right, sprinkle, all right. I'm going to do the tidy top part. 
not too tight I'm going to take the bag and do this right. just to distribute it distribute the fertilizer alright guys so I'm finished so all these that have on the stone these are the ones with the with the chicken manure fertilizer in it and I'm basically going to put a block this board on top of this one all right and then put a stone on it so the one with the block on the stone doesn't have any fertilizer so what I'm basically doing now is inserting the, 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 the pipes right into the bags to create um, to add to, to add some amount of of here into the bag right want to it doesn't have to hold on I just want to leave it like that then insert it in the bag see there came through so we're just going to remove this and as you can see that is what we have so and then this section here looking straight through the pipe so what that means it means that here we'll be able to move through the pipe and then it will come out it will come out through these little holes right inside the bag so that is the idea that is what I was telling you about and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this small one into a different bag right so this is basically another way I am not I'm not pushing it entirely through the, the bag, right? I'm just going to push it about, maybe ab about a third, third of the way in. So I'm just going to use some plant leaf to basically just block the front part, right? Just block the front part. Eventually, eventually it will rotten out, right? So I'm just going to ease this in. Just like that, right? Right, and that's it basically that's it so th this is the idea to um, have some here going into the bag might not be much but it surely helps right and um, 
as you can see that is one way to do it and then this is another way to allow the pipe to to come straight right through the bag basically right and as i said this is just to add um additional here and then again remember that we have all these holes holes on the bag bag right so that is also helping so yeah you know these are the little um creative things that we can do you have to kind of be creative with the with what we have this is what i can do at the moment composing bags so i'm trying my best to to add whatever is needed to make the compost pile work right so again um i hope you understand what i'm doing if you have been following my videos you should be able to follow what i'm doing so thank you for tuning in and please remember to share any questions or comments in the comments area please remember to subscribe and please guys please like my video bye bye see you again in another video